Let's try the new Hourglass Holiday Palette. I've got the Evil Eyes Palette, but I just really didn't like the packaging for this. I customized mine. And instead of the Evil Eye, I get the Dragon Palette. It's just stunning. It's so beautiful. I think this is my favorite from all of three this year. Let's see inside. This is how the insides looks like. The palettes are always so stunning. I'm really excited about this pink and this pink brush. They look stunning as well for the highlighter. I really like this uh, pink with golden mixture. I can say that this brush is really interesting as well. I don't think Hourglass ever made a uh, like nude brush like this one. When I look at the pan, it looks more like highlighter with powder mixed together. But we need to apply it on the face so we can know how it actually looks and if it looks better in my opinion. Just at the moment the shade do not catch my eye, but we're gonna taste this now. I'm gonna start with the browser and I'm gonna use my refer number five. This year, the bronzer looked definitely much cooler on. I usually like to swatch the products and show you how they look, but I think with Hourglass is pointless because usually Hourglass palettes or they like powder products, they do not swatch the same way like they apply on the face. For this, we just, we're just gonna go straight with the application. The Evil Oil palette is definitely for medium skin tone. Um, from pictures, I can see that the palette is much deeper this year than the previous year. That's a beautiful bronzer. I like that it's not too warm because usually Hourglass bronzers, especially in the holiday palettes, they run a bit uh, warm. The, uh, I'm definitely a cool tone bronzer. I much prefer cool tone or neutral bronzer. Now let's start with the brushes. Uh, first, I want to try this neutral shade. I'm really intrigued to see if it's any good and how it will apply on my skin. This shade is described as Oasis Glow, which is supposed to be like neutral. For me, this is like brush and highlighter in one. If you don't like too colorful brushes, I think this one is going to be for you. I think this one is perfect for every day just because give a little bit of luminosity and have this beautiful neutral uh, tone. Definitely, it's not my cup of tea. I prefer a bit more color on my cheek, but it's beautiful. And it's something new from Hourglass, which I haven't seen before. Next brush I'm going to try is this pink one here which is described as vibrant coral. Yeah, this one have much more pigment. This is much, much more my cup of tea and I definitely prefer this type of brushes. And this color payoff, it's stunning. Not like I expect anything less from Hourglass, but oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is the vibrant coral. Like you can see, it's much pinkier, it's much more vibrant. And this is the Oasis Glow, which is nude tone. It has some luminosity, but it's much more everyday. Uh, definitely warmer, with like gold speckles, I can see, like gold shimmer, which is coming through. But I definitely prefer the pink one. Something new from Hourglass, but I think I'm gonna stick with the pink ones. And I'm just gonna use the powder and blend everything, like... Hourglass powders always like the best. I definitely will not set my face with the powders, but I like them like finishing powder just to give some luminosity, airbrush finish to my face and just to blend everything together. I think they are perfect for this. Okay, I'm gonna take these brushes now and we're gonna finish with the last brush. I'm gonna continue. I just redone my face. I pre-applied my bronzer. Now we continue with the brushes. I'm gonna go with this shade here now, which is described as Pink Fusion. Let's see. Yeah, definitely more subtle than the coral one. And more cool tone. The coral shade was much more vibrant. I think this pink is much more muted and it's definitely a pink cool tone pink. You don't need to even blend the Hourglass brush as much. They blend by itself. This is the brush Pink Fusion. 
I just want to try the finishing powder. Like I'm just going to dust it under my eyes. Mm. You have the elephant palette from two years back. Uh, this palette have the same shade finishing powder as this one here in the evil eye. Uh, last thing that we have now it's the highlight. This highlight is described as rose gold strop white. Oh, that's beautiful. Hourglass never miss on the highlighter. It's just, it's, it's give this wet feel on your cheek, which is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. My final thoughts on the Hourglass holiday palette is just nothing bad to say basically they are stunning no matter which shade you pick this is definitely for white medium tone i really like the bronzer this year i much prefer that they are much cool tone i like the blushes as well i think the blushes are stunning especially the ink pick fusion i think it's my favorite from the palette i love it the highlighter it's absolutely stunning it's literally like give you this wet look on your face and i like how the lights reflect of it beautiful finishing powder we all know we love the hourglass finishing powders i don't like them to set up my face but airbrush finish which give to your face and give a little bit of luminosity to so don't be too much and just to mention that all of three palettes have five new shades each of them it's the only one is repeating in these palettes which is a win-win if you didn't have hourglass or you have some of the previous year hourglass palettes it definitely gonna have new colors here 10 out of 10 they always hit the spot with the palette.